So what happens when all our auspicious times for the Giyula come and go and nothing happened? Uh, we just had the month of Nisan, which Benisan Asidin Lehigoyl, and it was a 57, 80 with the power of eight, so the power of miracles. And and uh, so we had such high expectations and everything that was that is happening in the world is pointing towards the redemption. And yet the 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 uh, ground zero, if we can say, the, the targeted time for Giyula passed and Moshiach didn't come. So what is our attitude now? So here's a fascinating thing. The Gemara says in Masechtas Tainus, there's an argument whether Kayhanim are permitted to drink wine Bizman Hazeh in these days. A Kayin is not allowed to officiate, do Avoida in the Beis HaMikdash if he had bear a small amount of wine. That's it. A Kayin had just a revius, a little bit of wine, he may not drink, he will not do the Avoida in the Beis HaMikdash until the wine wears off. So, in the time of the Beis HaMikdash, if you knew which which day you're going to work, that means a Kayan who recognized his Beis Av, so then this Kayan was not allowed to do Aveda on that day that his Beis Av, Beis Av means the daily group that was going to work. If a Kayan did not know which day he's part of, which Beis Av, but he knew he belongs to the general Mishmar, which would go up to the Beis HaMikdash for a week and serve, so then he would not be allowed to drink wine the entire week. What happens Bisman Hazeh when we don't know neither which Beis Av or which Mishmar we are in, and there's no Beis Amigdash, is a Kayan, am I, I'm a Kayan, am I allowed to take a cup of wine? And this would be serious. Am I allowed to make Kiddush? Am I allowed to do Havdalah on wine? Or any of you like? The answer to that is Machlekes. According to the Rabbanon, the Kayan may not drink wine today's days, even today's days. Why? Mehera Yibane Hamigdash. We await Mashiach's coming every minute. The Mesah Migdash might be built at any moment. Doesn't make a difference. It's Tavshin Pei or Tavshin Pei Aleph. Doesn't make a difference if it is in Nisan, in Iyar, in Tammuz. It can happen according to Halacha at any time. How fast can we expect it to happen? Maybe we have to await major wars major earth-shattering events until Mashiach is going to be here with the Beis HaMikdash. Well, if a Kayin drank wine, how long does it take for it to wear off? Well, if he drank only a revius of wine, that's the minimum amount that makes him, that disqualifies him, then he can get rid of it in two ways. Either he takes a nap or as long as it takes to walk a mill. Now, how long does it take for Mills a certain distance. How long does it take a mill? Well, the shorter zman, the shorter uh, time is the quickest op- opinion is that it's 18 minutes. And according to another opinion, the longest, it's 24 minutes. That means if 24 minutes pass, even if you drank, you're okay. Now we are telling according to the Rabbanan, again, it's not the halacha, but according to the Rabbanan, a koyhein may not pour himself Right now, this second, a cup of wine, because we are worried that the Mosh, that that the Be- Mashiach will come. The Beis Hamikdash will be standing within less than twenty-four minutes. That means within the next twenty-three minutes and fifty-nine seconds, the Avodah and the Beis Hamikdash might need to stall because the Kayan isn't ready, or the Kayan will not have the schus to do the Avodah because he is not ready. That means that any given moment throughout the entire year, even now on Yud Iyar, I have to expect that within the next less than 24 minutes, the entire world will change. Mashiach will be here and the Beis Hamikdash will be standing and the entire Avodah is ready to be served.